In Egypt this morning, protesters refused to budge, continuing to demand President Mubarak step down immediately while the government tries to get things back to normal. CBS News correspondent Terry McCarthy is in Cairo with the latest there for us this morning. Terry, good morning. Good morning, Chris. And being in Cairo is a bit like living on split screens. As you can see in the square behind me, the protests continue, whereas in the rest of the city, people are going back to work as if nothing were happening at all. The protests in Cairo are heading into their third week, and still the crowds are continuing to demonstrate. They sing, they pray. One couple even decided to get married right on the square. I'm happy with this. And now, as I told you, I have a story to tell to my children and my grandchildren about this revolution. The square has even become an attraction for the few tourists left in Cairo. I wanted to uh, see the, the best and brightest of Egypt. They're here. The military is trying to reduce the amount of space protesters occupy on the square. Overnight, soldiers shot in the air to push some protesters back. The Vice President Omar Suleiman held his first meeting with opposition groups. But they made little progress in solving the protesters' key demands. They want Mubarak to step down and his whole regime to be reformed and say the concessions so far have not been enough. No person in politics can reject dialogue, says this opposition figure. But this dialogue has to be serious, representative and productive. Life in much of Cairo is quickly returning to normal. Banks and stores are open and the streets are again clogged with the city's notorious traffic jams. But in the square, the protesters say their demands have yet to be met. And they're in this for the long haul. Even as the protesters continue to demand that Mubarak leave immediately, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said on Sunday that a rapid departure from Mubarak could cause problems for the rest of Egypt. Chris? CBS's Terry McCarthy in Cairo for us this morning. Terry, thank you.